Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Adrian Stewart, the Louisiana Swamp Rat LSR Swamp Rat Studios, Swamp Rat Speaks, coming to you right now. How in the fuck's everybody doing? We're peaking, we're medicine, everything's rocking, we're rolling. The bull is back, fucking shit is pumping. Medis is up 30% on the day. They released sushi right into a mega pump which is probably the first time in several years that any release that I've seen has been timed in a good way. Coinbase, the pump for that, fucking Bitcoin shit itself. Anytime there's any news with me, this, the markets shit themselves. So things are probably changing, could be changing. It's possible they're changing. I'm not fully sold. Uh, you can see I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping much. Um, we had a, I got to be careful how much I say, but we had a, a peak in NFTA, NFT apparel meeting a few nights ago. And I was so fucking amped up with uh, the contents of that call that I couldn't sleep for hours. And I'm going to sleep thinking about the incredibleness of Metis and Peak and NFTA and Metis Ninjas and all the fucking badass shit. But um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has stuck with me, stuck with Peak, stuck with Metis. Um, it's been fucking brutal. The last few months, they have been absolutely motherfucking brutal. Um, but we're, we're all here. We're still alive. All of our balances are really low, if you're anything like me. But, um, hey, U.S. dollars, it does matter, but it also doesn't. Um, let's see if things start heading the right way. But let's talk about Metis. That's what I'm here. I'm the Metis bull, monster mission, motherfucker. Have been since last year. Nothing's changed. No deviations whatsoever. But let's talk about Metis and all the stuff they're doing. So let's talk about today. So sushi, that's been announced. And I read a few days ago, sushi's got some, I don't know where I, I should have bookmarked this or, or uh, noted where I saw it. But essentially, sushi's running some shit in the background that's going to have um, some big overreaching uh, capabilities. And I'm sorry I can't talk about it, but it just sounded really fucking cool. And it sounds like they got some surprises that you can slurp on while you eat your sushi. So anyway, sushi's coming out. I got I to gotta move a little bit. Um, I'm stuck on this song right now that... Uh, I can't get out of my head, but I love it. It's it's the Top Gun song. Um, I ain't worried about it right now. Anyway, it's fucking badass. It's happy. It's uplifting. Tom Cruise uh, in Top Gun. He's an old dude like me. Shows up. Fucking it's like, fuck you guys. I'm doing it my way. And I'm going to fucking rock this motherfucker. And that's what he did. And that's why it's a great movie. Because it's just about being a badass and showing that you can do things if you put your mind to it and it's challenging and hard and there's going to be a lot of people saying fuck you the whole way trying to drag you down take you down but you know what you just keep pounding you keep pumping you keep working so anyway so the sushi thing that's a big deal i'd always kind of hope they'd done uniswap but netswap that swap. So now we got sushi swap. <laughs> what I'll be interested to read about, and if there's any sushi people watching this, I'm happy to have your comments um, to let me know about more of those tech details. Um, I can understand tech stuff to a certain degree, you know, but um, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm limited, but you know, I'm not a tech guy. I'm not going to, I'm not coming here to give any seminars on the ins and out of blockchain technology and like how things work in the background. But I know I can see 
when trends or features are going to be beneficial. And I did see some more rumblings about that. So that's sushi. Let's talk about the last few months. I'm going to rewind. So, you know, back in January, Matus was $324 or so and went down to $14 a few months, a month ago. Um, so it's been a journey and we went really high and we went really low. But anyway, seems like the momentum is coming back. People are starting to really get into meet us again. It's starting to get talked about again. I haven't stopped talking about it. I did say I wasn't going to tell anybody when to buy. Um, I, I broke that self-promise to you guys. Um, around the $18 mark, $18, $19, I'm like, nah, this is, who gives a fuck? You got to buy, you got to buy some $18, $19 meters. And I caught a little shit from people, but hey, it's almost doubled since then. Not a double, not a double. I don't, know. don't catch me on my math. Um, all right. So last few months have been fucking tough. No, no doubt about that. Um, some elements of peak finance and our peak lottery, which we have, we really need Chainlink and their keepers um, to keep all the numbers right. So um, we're excited for that. So, you know, who knows about timing? I, I speculated that Link would have been first um, just because uh, without Link, fucking sushi and Abe, like whatever, you know, you got to have link. Chain link. Chain link is the link that links the world. And it's really undervalued for what they do. Six dollar fucking chain link. Anyway. So you never know how they're going to do it. Coinbase was announced. Um, they're on crypto.com now. Made us. Um, KuCoin. You know, all the way, they're on everywhere major, but Binance, Binance. So, uh, and I think they're probably going to need to get there to um, to have the liquidity and volume that they need because the other the other exchanges and DEXs, respectfully, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. There's not enough depth. So, look, I'm used to this. All I deal with is alts that have no liquidity. So, you know, live and die by the sword. Um, so that's the link chapter. And then so Ave, um, there was that interview talk with uh, Alina and him about Ave and all the freaking badass revolutionary cool shit they're doing, stablecoin shit. Um, so that partnered with Link on Metis. That is the kill shot. And it's the kill shot, meaning death to the rest. Now, that's not true. It's, um, it's kind of true. I want it to be true, but not really, because I, I do want other protocols and other chains and other things, people to do well. Uh, but I'll rephrase that death shot. That was too much. Um, a... Uh, Shot to the clouds. How's that better? So the three of them working together um, at, is it's just going to be a, a homogenous, harmonious um, relationship, and it's going to bring lots of money. So we just, just, just missed a billion dollars in TVL on Metis. Um, <laughs> March or so, I don't remember. February, March, before everything went to shit. Um, but uh, I think we'll be there again. Look, Ave's got five billion dollars in TVL, and I did an Ethereum swap today, and it cost me twelve bucks to do a swap. So if you want one hundred x savings on swapping shit, come on over to Matus. Come on over to Sushi Swap. Look. 
sushi swap's about to go fucking nuts if the market comes back because it's kind of like Uniswap with no fees. That's sushi on Metis. It's Uniswap with no fees, basically. Because it costs one cent or so to, to send stuff on Metis and eight, nine, ten cents to swap. And um, that's going to get faster and cheaper with um, the Ethereum merge. So anyway, there's lots of money out there. We just need people active again. The fact that Ethereum is so expensive today means people are doing some shit. Ethereum's up 16% today. Um, so that's pretty fucking strong. And um, we're running two contests now for Peak Finance Dow. So it's a seven-day um, seven contest on Gleam. And it's going to start with and focus on education and crypto. There's not that much peak, not that much pro uh, talk, but uh, you can earn thousands and thousands of pro tokens, which you can then stake on the peak finance Dow DAP. So um, We've been debating about doing a contest. Oh, the market's fucked. What are we gonna do? And then we're like, you know what? Let, let's 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 just do it. Markets, the market's gonna market. Metis is doing their shit. They're gonna get the money coming in. But we want to go ahead and start sharing more information and raising awareness about Peak Finance Dow. It is a modified tomb fork on Metis, um, but Nobody, 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 nobody can touch us with um, actually having a real use case and utility in their tomb fork because uh, EMP, which is a really, really neat project, um, Tristan and I like some of their stuff, but at the end of the day, it's a tomb fork and it's you know, as long as there's new money coming in, we're the same in that way. But as long as there's new money coming in, everything's cool. Where we differ is that there are and will be multiple projects, one of them NFT apparel, which is a revolutionary NFT project that lets you print your NFTs or anything you want, images onto clothing, ship it right to your door, Paying crypto, we're gonna be able to pay and peak. Um, so that's coming. Uh, and then there is there's some other features with that that, but I um I get told all the time to stop talking so much and sharing so much. But hey, look, anybody who knows me knows I'm not bullshitting. I'm I'm so fucking fired up. So NF NFTA is do it. I can't tell you why though. But anyway, so um, yeah, they're doing a contest as well. But the NFTA protocol has in it buybacks for Peak and Pro. So as NFTA uh, grows in success and volume, that volume and success will feed back into Peak. So the peg's always going, Pro's always supported. Go, go, go. Um, Stelio, which y'all know from Metis Ninjas, proceeds from his project are going back into, into the peak protocol. I'll just tell y'all right now. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble. I got something calling for y'all, too. It's going to feed back into peak and pro. Swamp Rat. Swamp Rat's got shit coming. So... Um, what else are there any other feeds? Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna do some other stuff with the treasury with Peak and other this uh, this is some really really cool shit coming. But um, you just have to be careful in this world and in the communities because unfortunately people will steal your shit. So you can't even tell anybody about what you're doing because they'll just do it when it's yours which is not cool. Come up with your own shit. 
there's plenty, there's plenty of ideas out there. You don't have to take from other people. There's all this plagiarism. Anyway, I don't want to get on a big trip. It's just real sad that people, people got to copy a motherfucker and copy what, copy what we're doing. And, um, it's really rewarding to be original and to come up with new shit. And the shit that we're all doing, big stuff, NFTA, not getting it from anybody. But that's a testament to the team, to Tristan, to Ben. Dudes are, they're on another level. They're on another fucking level. So anyway, I think I'll probably stop talking there. You guys don't want to hear me talk too much. But um, that that's what's up. And Metis is up. And... Let's see what's happening with the market, you know. Oh, I did. I, I am going to toot my own horn. And uh, I tweeted this to CryptoLark. 0.75 and we pump. And that's exactly what we did. Fucking 0.75 markets alive. Oh, boah! Oh, pump it. I know I knew this for days. A few days ago when Bitcoin was go had a pretty good run up. And then the last few days down, 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 I'm like, this is manipulated as fuck. They're fucking with people's heads. People are so fucking stupid. You fucking bought it. You bought their narrative. I was telling my wife this morning in the car, I'm not fucking buying the narrative. Bitcoin's going to do this. Uh, inflation's going to do that. Re reserve rates are going to do that. No. I fucking saw, I saw, I saw this shit exactly how it happened. The only thing I didn't, have right is I thought there'd be a dump first and then one. It wasn't even a dump. It was just like <clears throat> so everybody had their shorts on, got fucking annihilated, which I think is funny. I'm sorry, but if you didn't, if you weren't bullish today, I don't know. The swamp rat. I'm a mega bull. You're like, oh, you're always bullish in my Skype chat with my guys. Just a few guys who are. Well, Adrian Cullen, Adrian fucking Cullen. He's like, he's bullish every day. I'm like, well, actually, I've been pretty bearish lately. Like, even when you're bearish, you're bullish. But I've lost some of my mega bull over the last few months. The mega bull, look, look at me now. It's like, I'm not yelling, jumping, screaming. I mean, it is $34 metis. It's not like fucking $340 metis. But shit is good. Shit is uh, headed in the right direction. And... um I hope everybody's feeling well and doing well. And I'm not going to stop talking about Metis. And I'm really glad that so many people here are following me and following the progress of Metis and sticking with us. And if you weren't buying Metis at $14 and you had money and you weren't buying Metis in the teens or even the 20s, you don't fucking see Metis. You, you don't see it. You don't fucking see it. I'm I'm standing by my my claims of three hundred dollar metis is a fucking steal. Three hundred dollar metis is a motherfucking steal. So we're sitting here at fucking thirty four, and oh twenty is too high. Oh eighteen. Oh I can't pay twenty four. Look, investment involves risk. I have my own personal opinions that are formulated for many, many months. Oh, fuck. It's about to be a year that I found Metis. Holy fuck. It's about to be a year, the year anniversary. It's on my birthday. So we'll see how that goes. Happy fucking birthday, Swamp Rat. I'm going to be 48. I might not look like it. But motherfucker's almost 50 years old. Um, I got tired of shaving and my skin was getting irritated. So the white beard's out. I'm bald. I don't have too many wrinkles, but hey, it's just good skin. And I used to get sun before I moved to New Zealand. Now it's just fucking freezing rain. Anyway, hey, I love you guys. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share it. It's going to go everywhere. Um, yeah. Made us to the moon. Love you guys.